Mighty Lord Clam opens up once again. <laughs> I had to redo this intro because it occurred to me um, that depending on how I pronounce his new last name, we could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, welcome back to the Adventures of Clam of the province of Thatton. Uh, many of you guys asked for various different names. We had some good suggestions. We had uh, we had superheroes. We had Baywatch. Uh, David Hasselhoff is basically a superhero, so that's the same thing. Somebody suggested the mighty name of Sea Man. Sea Man. I am going to have to say it like that for fairly obvious reasons. Um, because, of course, he's the man of the sea. The inland... Oh, that's disgusting. People live there. But the sea is only filled with fish, much like his family members. Killer whale, anglefish, penguin, seaweed, and dolphin. And the others, who are a little less relevant because they're far down, the, uh, far down the succession at this point. So we are now Clam Sea Man, mighty ruler of Thatton, which we should probably rename to... Um, what are we going to rename? Can we rename titles in... Yes, Thatton and Thatonian. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that. We are gonna call you um, at Atlantis. Uh, what didn't didn't sunk? <laughs> Atlantean. Brilliant. There it is. Uh, can we rename our capital holding too? Because I really don't like it being called Thatton anymore. We that's that's behind us now. Um, county. Oh, there we are. And we're going to call it... We need, a, like, a, a good name for the castle. Um, I'm going to... Oh, man. What's that? Like, a sea castle. A sea castle. Like, um... Uh... Okay, there's got to be a pun here. Give me a second. Names are a bit hit and miss here. We've got, we've got Waterworld, our castle holding. We've got Brighton, because uh, it's, a, it's a watery city. And then, finally, we have Poseidon, Lord of the Seas Temple, right there in the capital. Um, I could have called it, like, Soggy Buddha. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, um, Buddha. There we are. Is that how you spell Buddha? But Buddha? Oh, that looks better. I think. Um, soggy Buddha. Is that how you spell that? B -b 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 Buddha. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Uh, somebody actually pointed out that there is a a religion that is um that is apparently local to our realm. Um, let's go to the temple. Can we see? What are like holy sites these days? Um. I want to see other people's holy sites, not just... What is this? What is this over here? Seedism. I, I need to see the different faiths, and I honestly don't remember how to do it. Let me, let me see if I can... Ah, hang on. What if we go Buddhist? Um, there's Buddhist faith. Oh, that's a shame. Let me go and have a look through the religion list and see if I can find what is supposedly our local religion. Um, we could always try and reform the, the kind of variant that's, that, that's near us instead of just the kind of generic... Um, although... There's not really anywhere else besides Sri Lanka, to be fair. There it is. Uh, apparently it's this one. Uh, the religion of, of, of Ari? Yeah, there are actually two holy sites in in our realm. Look at that. So what, are, what have they got? Esotericism, astrology, and ritual celebration. Virtues are generosity, calm, honest, and wise man. Deceitful, impatient, and wrathful being. Okay, so how does that vary between what, what, what are we now? Um, with this one, aren't we? Um, deviancy, adultery, witchcraft is all accepted with our one. Man, I want to convert to this faith. Yeah, bring me over. We can't. We don't have quite enough piety. Um, by which I mean we've got barely any piety. But that would be quite fun. Playing as our own sect of Buddhism. There are no other rulers of this religion that I could see out there in the world right now. Um, that would be cool. No one holds the position of head of faith. I might do that. I genuinely might flip over. Um, ritual celebrations, astrology, and esotericism. I, I, I prefer the doctrines of our current religion, to be fair. Um, Dharmic pacifism, not a massive fan of. Um, that's obviously going to be irrelevant as we start <laughs> declaring war just everywhere anyway. Um, literalism. Somebody said that we can uh, argue someone to death. So I quite like the sound of literalism. And we could always form our own variant of, of the Ari religion as well. Um, no idea how you pronounce that, but that would be quite interesting. Okay, um, well, what are we going to do with our our mighty diplomat? Uh, Ducal Conquest is quite nice. We can start going into... Uh... Oh, you know what? I have a feeling I had to reload from an autosave. Um, for reasons that you'll see on the other series coming out soon. Um, CK3, that is, because of a cloud save related issue. I think I've lost the most recent version when we left off with this guy. I think we already took wealth focus, didn't we? Um, so we're just going to be a couple of months behind. It's really not that far. Probably getting the claim there on Dagon. I think they're in rebellion when we left off. Um, but that was, that was, again, not, not really much progress gone, basically. Well, at least they were going to declare war. Now it's one year old boy. He's got 2,000 troops, though. Damn. We really can't expand out anywhere, can we? Um, we can swear fealty to a duke. 
and then pick things up. Go go through province to province. He's quite powerful, isn't he? Um, and where is our Dutchy Turtle? That's part of his... Oh, there was all this stuff down here. Um, Yeah, we can't really do much. I was saving it for elephants, but even with our elephants, what, what can we do? Just just the elephants alone aren't going to change the, the face of the war, are they? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this, because we got a point in Intrigue and Stewardship simultaneously, didn't we? Um, Right, so, uh, I think weeds in a garden for the 30%. Um, then let's go for golden obligations, obviously, because of course we have to. Then we can potentially start pulling up some payments from people. And that means we can found the mighty elephant army at long last. Let's stick you over there. And this is this is going to fulfill many of my goals, to be honest with you. Um, elephants being prime and center. We'll, we'll, we'll limit ourselves and we'll say, you know what? Only elephants this campaign. I always say how CK3 is way too easy. Um, the, 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 the series end up being generally only like 10 episodes each because we, we kind of... You know, we, we do quite well. Um, our brilliant project is successful. Oh, cool. We actually succeeded with that. Sorry, I thought we failed them for a second. Um, so we'll limit ourselves only to elephants, which will have some drawbacks, but it will also be incredible. Maybe elephants and trebuchets. Maybe an elephant trebuchet. Um, Wards gain additional skills and can become your friend. Yeah, I like that. That's great. Um, if there's anything we shall find, it. stay there, Boofer. I trust you. And this is going up so fast. Um... Herigeld Vassal... I mean, that's a bit pointless, isn't it? Let's go tax, man. Because we are going to be basically just collecting tax in. I don't want to do anything else with this guy for a while, is there? Um, just keep you on that one. Can we swap you out for anyone else? Anyone slightly slightly better stewardship-wise? No? That's a shame. Especially when we've got that as well. Oh! It's my uh, uh, fecund daughter and a uh, handsome son. Right. Um, oh, God, sea creatures. Okay, hang on. I said SpongeBob. Right, so we've got Pufferfish. Brilliant. And then... Um, Squidward. What the hell is Squidward? He's like a, like an octopus. Another perk here. Nice. I actually quite like this mod. It is a little powerful. Um, I will admit on it is it is quite strong, especially when we pick up Genius. Eventually, we are going to go for that. Um, it's going to be quite powerful. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Right, so Firm Hand. Uh, inspiring Rule. Powerful Vassal on the Council. Well, that's pointless. Uh, thoughtful. I guess we could go Thoughtful. That uh, seems a bit pointless as well. But to be fair, Force Vassalage and Ducal Conquest or the coast. That'd be quite fun. Son and heir became a skilled tactician and an aggressive attacker. Um, he's not terrible. He's not fantastic, but he's not terrible. Um, he got really good traits. Zealous, calm, and just. Skilled tactician, aggressive attacker. Obviously robust and handsome. He's a direct upgrade from our guy. Um, let's find him a spouse. I want to try and get genius or intelligent or anything that can give a bonus XP. Um, because that... that combined with the, 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 the mods that we've got going on right now is going to be really interesting. I think we're going to be able to finally see some of these traits that I wouldn't normally take a look at, personally. Um, she's intelligent. Uh, is that really the best we've got? Uh, it's more the fact that she's five more than anything else. Let's see if we can find a genius. Maybe bring to court, befriend them. Um, it's got genius, diplo range, inside. Um, oh, man. Slim pickings, huh? As her. Um, you might be able to arrange a marriage between her and my son. Well, accept. Oh, why didn't she show up on the list then? Okay, done. Easy. Thank you. And you are going to be Crab. No, that's not how you spell Crab outside of SpongeBob. Crab. Uh, she's got ballerina feet. Club-footed. Excellent. See, not, but... Oh, mind is touched. Wow. I feel like level 4 education is so hard to get in CK3. Wow, that's quite nice. Got to have a good steward to go on the council as well. I'm a big fan of that. Acquisition of Witchcraft. Release her. We gain... 300 lifestyle experience. Um, yeah, go on then. 28 stress, though. We've got to be very careful. This is a dangerous game we're playing right now. Give me some... Give me give me a feast. Yeah, give me a feast. That's all right. And I'm still befriending here quietly in the background. Um, just for those just for those free little stats that we gain. Um, your friend... It's, it's honestly hard finding people in different range that we're not friends with anymore. Oh, he was a foreign ruler. Hello. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, it's just because it hasn't updated. He is our friend. Unless I... Did we fail that? Man, I should have should have read it. I genuinely just assumed we were going to win. Um, bearing in mind, I don't think we've ever failed a befriend scheme before. 41%. Wow. We're, we're, we're pushing the boat out a little too far here. Anglerfish. What are you good at? Nothing. I should marry him off to her then. Might as well try and get something. Um, and she's got the higher fertility as well. So we'll kind of double down on that. Excellent. Declare war. I'm not going to. We haven't got nearly enough elephants yet, my friend. Ooh. Oh, his mercenaries have despawned. 1,128. 827. Oh. Why are elephants... Oh, why elephants gotta cost money? Oh my god, it just occurred to me. We can get so many elephants. Imagine it now. Maximum mana arm size with, uh, with the palaces and whatever else. We do have uh, the Metropolis mod in this one. Um, 
I don't know whether this episode is coming out before the other series. I'm not going to spoil the other series because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I don't want to accidentally do too much of what is planned for that one in this one. We do have Metropolis, um, which allows us to build multiple wonders in a province, um, which could be quite fun. Um, it's quite expensive. So it's, it's 9,500 to convert it over there. Um, and we, we only have five slots, obviously, but we can build as many wonders in those slots as possible. So imagine that in combination with the full elephant army. Man, I'm liking this idea. Someone also made the genius suggestion, right, of saying that for our, our, our trait, if we get it to the stage where we can pick the trait with the dynasty legacy, to go for scaly, because we're fish people. And I quite like that idea. I don't know what the side effects of being a scaly man are. Um, I suppose we'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Uh, vassal tax contribution, 10%. We haven't got any vassals. Meritocracy. It's not bad. Uh, we haven't got any vassals, though, again. A lot of, um, stewardship is, is just dealing with vassals, isn't it? Like, war profits here? We, we're a, we're a pacifist right now. Extort subjects. I suppose we could do that. If we manage it decently, it won't be too bad. Um, no vassals of count rank. Yeah, we can't. Balls. Or well, we can start befriending our own family members now, can't we? And that's we, we get bonus to that too because they're in our court and obviously there are family members too. So that's going to be fairly straightforward. Just basically free XP. 25% um, chance of a great deal. Okay. Um, this is our stonemason guild that we paid for a while ago. 150 prestige and we get cooperative stonemasons. Um, okay. Uh, we might, so it, either way, we're going to get the cooperative stonemasons, which is all I already care about. Um, we might end up losing 75 gold, though. Um, that is the best option. Go on. You can do it. Get the prestige. Damn, we didn't get the prestige. Well, there we are. No, it just took a while to respond to us. Fantastic. We did succeed there. Oh, excellent work. Right, I want to see if we can uh, blackmail anybody, just very quickly. Um, hooks and secrets? Yes, we do. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now we can start demanding some payments, I hope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to out them. Sod it. And no, none of them can afford to pay me. We're not really... We haven't really got much power right now. Um, so, we, so we can't exactly follow true. I mean, we can't really... We can't really follow up on our threats. And, and more importantly, we can't really get anybody influential blackmailed. Because we're just fucking no one. I'm going to go over here. See if we can... That's probably the largest kingdom within Diplo range. So we'll start pulling those guys apart. Seeing what we can get. Martial lifestyle. Okay. Um, this would be a good way as well, actually, to, to see kind of how overpowered, if you want to call it that, this mod is. Um, when this character dies, you know, we'll be able to look at something like Marshall, which is, I, th I think, his weakest skill. Um, and, you know, if we're going to get two perks over the character's lifetime, I don't think that's massively overpowered. You can min-max it to get that anyway, to be fair. Um, serve the crown. Organize march. Movement speed 15%. Naval speed or Parthian tactics. Uh, are elephants cavalry? I suppose technically, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll go organize march then, just to, just to play it safe. Oh, no. Maya Sakate. I'm, I'm going to befriend you instead then. The, the friend of my friend is my enemy, but I will make him my friend as well. Seaweed, no. Ah, oh. Is he okay? Um, right, which one do we want? Somebody said to always check them. Um... Even though I assume that the one who's worth more is the better one. Yeah, unsurprisingly. Right, bring him to court. Um, how's he doing? He's only 13. That's tragic. Um, be cautious. Do no more than what is necessary. Uh, I trust the physician's judgment. Yeah, I think I do. And you know what? They did a good job there. Excellent. Huge boost. And we befriended the slayer of our other friend. Forgiveness. Yeah, I think we're being, I think we're being quite a good character right now. Um, how old are you? 15. 15 going on 50, apparently. I still can't befriend him quite yet. What about our kids? Have any more come of age? She's 15. Ah, there we go. Insightful thinker. Well, I don't know if that's any good, to be honest with you. Um, no, it's not. Fantastic. Well, we'll still be your friend, <laughs> even if you're complete shit. Uh, nothing up a stress level. We could intentionally raise his stress super high. I feel like it's not really worth it, though, is it? Um, we'll take that. <laughs> Great. We can charge our mares 10% extra. Oh, he's gone. That was so fast. Wow, with a good treatment too. Poor little seaweed. Oh, what's our stress looking like? Okay, it's not terrible right now. Um, ideally, we want to go on as many pilgrimages as possible so that we can get that conversion potential. Um, so long pilgrimage, long pilgrimage, or long pilgrimage. I think we'll go on a long pilgrimage. How about that? 375. Right, what do we need to convert again? Um, let's go back to the religion tab, and then other faiths, and then give me one of those, and then convert to faith is missing 1,694. Ah, yes. 
Uh, understandable. Right. Probably never gonna happen, basically. Can we demand hooks? <gasps> we can finally demand a payment. More elephants, potentially. Uh, penguin semen can marry. Hello. Um, matrilineal, please. I wanna grow my dynasty before we get too ambitious. Yeah, she'll do. Or he'll do. He'll do with her. Uh, pretty, fecund, genius, potentially. Potentially fantastic. I'm out and about in a nearby town with Killer Whale when we come across a little child sobbing. Alarmed, he and I glance around, but there seems to be no sign of the child's parents or guardians nearby. Poor thing, he says. We want to find the parents of the little one. Who knows if there are any miscreants about who might take advantage of this child. I agree. Let's work together to help the child's parents. Or we can ignore the child. Um, let's work together to help find this child's parents. Oh, is that it? We're just going to gain some opinion. Oh, that's nice. They want a little journey together. That's quite... Yeah, that's endearing. Right, let's go and blackmail some more people. <laughs> I'm done being nice for today. I need some money, please. There we go. Right. Give me some of that. Thank you. Oh, the elephant fund. The elephant fund grows. 30 gold. That wasn't even worth the time. Our twin daughters came of age as well. Again, we'll stick matrilineal for the time being until we've got some some good blood bred into the family. Um, I suppose we could go for alliances if we really want to make a move soon. Um, try and conquer this other province near us. Let's see what we can get for an alliance before I start committing to that. Um, the petty kingdom of Yarlung. Where are you? I'm bloody miles away. We've got 1,300 dudes also miles away, so we can't really rely on that. Oh, you're a bit closer to home. 700. You know what? Yeah. All right, go on then. That's fine. He's right there as well, so we can call him in straight away. And Seahorse. Um, let's go alliance power. We've got you, which is miles away. We've got you. Miles away. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna marry them if they're. You know, sure they might be able to provide some troops. It's a bit pointless if they're. Oh, better than we're also limited to inheritable traits. Let's try that again. Oh, that's better. Balls. Um. The Marshal of the Pala Kingdom. Oh, that's an ally. Hello. Vastly superior. I was looking for allies who also happen to have inheritable traits, like a fool. There we go. Wow. Okay, well, now we've got uh, this bonus to all that befriending. It's paid off, because now we, we, we've managed to get an alliance with our friend over there. That's fantastic. Um, right, then. So, uh, let's spend some perks to start off with. Each alliance grants plus one. Um, that's okay. Yeah, we, we've got we've got alliances now, technically. Um, I don't know if I want any of these. I suppose we get dark insights. It couldn't hurt. What's his stats looking like? Wow, very good. 28-16. Oh, Marshall's actually quite high for him then. Damn. We're not going to have just another day of sitting around, building up the realm, building up our dynasty, whatever else. We need to get out there. We need to get to war soon. Um, let's recruit you then. Might as well keep our best commanders possible. Let's do it. Let's, let's declare war and let's call in our allies. If we just sit in our capital, they won't do much damage. Similar. Oh, really? What allies have you got then? Two counts. And we've got... Oh, we one of our allies is the same guy. Um... So I guess it all depends who he likes more. Let's call them both in. We might be able to stop the other guy joining the other guy. Yes, he joined us. Look at that. Great. And then he's obviously in as well because they like us because we've befriended everybody. Right. This is this is a good day for us. Please join me. Uh, Grey Eminence. Wow, don't go Grey Eminence, huh? Please hurry up. For God's sake. Please, please. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. No, stay there. Stay. Oh, God. They've got a lot of troops. Where's our, where's our other ally? He's moving over. God, I hope he is soon. Oh, there we are. 4,000. Hey, that's fantastic. Right, follow me over, boys. Yes, there we go. Let's see if we can give chase, see if we can catch him. Nice, there we go. I'm asleep and wandering into the void before my mind is pulled into a dream. Deep in my subconscious, I know this vision is of the future. Though my consciousness doesn't reg register it as such. Left or right? Right it is. Oh, God. We got a cursed future. Well, that's not fair. That's a really spooky background, isn't it? Wow. Um, new learning lifestyle perk. Fantastic. I did swap us over to learning because I thought stewardship, honestly, not really doing anything for us right now. Um, let's just get in there. Start sieging. Just got to be careful they don't go for our capital. Very nice. Um, you stay there. And we've, we've got our other ally there just attached to us right now, which is quite fortunate. They rarely do that, so I'm quite glad of his, uh, quite glad of his assistance. Okay. In this situation, definitely... Oh. Because he did my work. Oh, me IRL. We'll stick with that one. Right, we're almost there. This situation, we can definitely sit and wait. Come on. There we go. Boom. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The first ever coastal expansion. It's, this is big news. So two more of our kids can get married. Um, Dutchie right there. Wow. Um, we've got Dutchie within, inside our realm again. That's, where are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely 
ally myself with him. I don't want to ally with this guy because we're potentially going to go to war with this guy. To keep ourselves safe? Yes. Uh, to... Oh, who are you? Another king. Oh, miles away. Um, got Nepal. We've got you. Yeah, see, no, he, he, this guy I want to attack relatively soon, so I don't want to want to go for that one. Um, can't see if that on. Um, I think we're all right. I think I'm still going to stick to marrying sons off for... Let's go inheritable. Uh, just for, just for traits, to be honest with you. Oh, unless there's bloody nobody. We've got intelligent. A couple of intelligent, and that's about it. Um, all right, sure do. We go down the medicine focus and try and keep our guy alive for as long as possible. Because we, we haven't made much much realm progress right now because it's been quite a slow start, obviously, a count in the, in the other side of the world there. We've almost got our carver's gills. Oh, interesting. Wow, that's quite good. Um, I didn't even realize. Our, oh, maybe maybe our actual vassal built. That's rare. Um, a misstep. I was walking outside the garden and I almost slipped and tumbled. Thankfully, I caught my step before it was too late. But it was still embarrassing and happened in front of the whole court. Um, make a self-deprecating joke. Pretend it didn't happen, or it's not that big a deal, honestly. I mean, it's not a big deal. I think he's right there. Now for Shark. Right, Alliance Power. Um, and let's go ahead and reset to defaults. So we've got you again, not interested. The Candrus Duchy. Are we already allied with the Candrus Duchy? We are. Um, fine, we'll go for Thakon then. Go on, why not? Might as well keep as many allies in our own kingdom so that we can pull this duchy apart as soon as possible. Ah, peasants. Clam seamen, your coffers will dry up. Oh dear, what a threat. Um, <laughs> ah, gonna be, gonna be a bit careful with that one, fella, depending on how you phrase it. Right, goodbye. Thank you, peasants. This peasant are also so... We got... Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, we've got 1,050% war score, so I think we probably won that one. We can make the duchy title. 250 gold. That's good elephant money going to waste there. Oh. This is itchy in a certain spot. So itchy. So scratchy. Seahorse. Should have called a sea cow the bloody manatee. Oh, she's pregnant. Okay, sorry. My bad. Um... Right, so we've befriended Seahorse. Now we'll move on to you. I, I mean, befriending your kids is always a safe option, because in theory, you should be outliving them. Um, so, unlike the other guys that are keep fucking dying off and ruining my stats, these guys are, I think, a pretty safe bet. Um, moderation, truthfulness, or vindictiveness. Uh, let's go for... I guess it doesn't matter. They're all the same outcome, right? Um, moderation, truthfulness, or vindictiveness. Uh, well, he's gluttonous, so I feel like we shouldn't go for that. He's arbitrary as well. Let's go for truthfulness, then. Yeah, there you go. He thinks he's probably quite truthful. He's an arbitrary man. Get the trade journaler. Oh, that's quite cool. Go for a run, potentially getting an athletic. Let's, let's get journaler. Let's guarantee that. That seems like a good idea. And then that unlocks a new stress release option, right? Yeah, there we go. Occupied writing. You know what? Let's do it. Some of these, uh, stress is such a, in, in such a weird place right now. Obviously, the 1.1 patch is coming out, uh, I believe, after this episode goes live. Um, or as this episode goes live. Um, but it's in such a weird place right now where, like, Athletic and, um, you know, and, and Journal are obviously fantastic. Not only are they good traits, but they're also great for dealing with stress. But then, conversely, you've got things like um, whatever the one is where you spend a shitload of money. It's like minus 10% to all your gold. It's insane. Demand payments. <gasps> Finally, there we go. That's almost elephant money time. We could make ourselves a duke, to be fair. If we don't make ourselves a duke, obviously partition is going to pull apart our realm. So I'm going to make the sensible decision first uh, to go like that. Uh, otherwise, again, you know, our elephants are just going to end up in someone else's hands if we're not careful. <laughs> is she okay? Do are you all right? I feel like she's, um, I feel like she's, uh, I feel like she might have taken something. Got, got into the bleach again, have we? Right, let's, uh, let's befriend our leech. I think that's always a safe bet. And then what do you want? Uh, hello. No, I'm not spending anything on anyone. Thank you. Greetings, my handsome vassal. I've decided to make Count Dagon your vassal. Oh, hello. Um, I'd like that title, actually. Can I potentially revoke? Fucking revoke title, pal. I've, unless you have a cause for revocation. Uh, we've got a claim on it. Is that not enough cause? I mean, obviously, we can't right now because we're at truce. I think we have a claim on it. Dagon, 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 Dagon. We do. Hopefully, that's enough to to be able to just revoke it. Tea Cucumber. What alliance can you get us, then? Marrying off a lot of uh, daughters. See, no real... Yeah, no alliances we haven't already got. Fine. Back to the back to the eugenics plan, then. Um, that one also just gives us an alliance, too. Sod it. Double down on that alliance. We've already got an alliance with those guys, but she was also the best candidate there as well. Right. Okay. Um, diplomacy perks. Inspiring rule. Firm hand. Uh, top creation cost minus 20%. Bollocks. Wish I'd have done that 
we could have just waited a little longer. Um, engineer for destruction. Naval speed, 25%. When we've got such a small force, that's actually probably not a terrible idea. We've bred some pretty impressive kits, so we can swap out most of the council for, for those guys, to be honest. There we are. Some anglerfish is better. Our marshal is better. Um, what about our steward? Um, oh, I can't swap him out. Okay, you're fine then. Um... And we do not have revocable clerical appointment doctrine. Damn. Let's just stick with that guy. Hope he dies soon. You know what? Scientific isn't bad, seeing as that we're one of two rulers part of our culture. Actually, no. We are the only, I mean, independent ruler. Uh, well, not independent, but the, but the, I mean, this guy is, this guy is in our culture group. And obviously, this guy's a vast London. But anyway, um, the highest rank is probably the best way to phrase it. So, we actually are basically in charge of, of our culture group. Um, we're going for manorialism right now. Building construction time minus 10%. All medieval era economic buildings. I mean, I'm, I've got a problem with that. A military sphere. Um, naval speed 25%. Yeah, not too bothered about that one. Um, Royal Army tradition. Oh, wow. We're going to recruit palace guards. Heavy cavalry damage 10%. Well, it's a shame we're going only into elephants, isn't it? Was there another? We've got elephantry. Yeah, and then we've got Royal Army too. Wow, they got two unique cultural ones. What do you think? Embrace celibacy? We might as well. There is still a potential. It's, it's very unlikely, but there is still a small potential of being able to flip religion here. Um, go on then. Why not? Yep. There we go. Boom. Gain celibate. We are lustful, so we gain some stress there. You shouldn't even be able to take the decision, should you, if you're lustful. That's one thing that's very different to CK3 and CK2. CK3 does give you that flexibility. Um, at the cost of stress, but CK2, they just be like, nah, you can't say that, you're lost for your fool. Um, which does make more sense, to be honest. Um, host feast call hunt? Ah, uh, do we really wanna... No, I, I, I need to save up. We're almost ready for the next elephant right near. Norealism, there we go. Okay, uh, what do we want next, then? Battlements? Uh, fortification buildings aren't a terrible idea. Arch, saddle, armored horseman, horseshoes gives... Uh, what does that give? I have no idea. Um... Movement speed 10%. There it is. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's actually quite good. I might flip over to that one. What else we got? Can I enact regular partition? Ooh. Or Miller is spear. I mean, naval speed, you'd imagine, is going to be quite essential in this playthrough. Um, although, is it? Not really. Because we're going to be going along the coast anyway. We can just set our rally point to the next province along. Um, our lead is getting absolutely clapped. I was just about to say. Um, is that split the realm up? No. He's just taking more and more and more land. We need to stop this guy. Let's see if we can fabricate a duchy claim on him. Um, right now, he's still inferior to us because of all the alliances we've got, but that's not gonna... That's not gonna be there forever. Oh, my God. He's died. Death of my own son at the hands of who? This fucker. You son of a bitch. An unforgivable crime. I agree. Caused the death of a loved one. So we didn't murder him, so I think he was imprisoned by him. On a pilgrimage, well, we'll give it a go. We're almost, to be fair, we're getting there in terms of... In terms of piety, I just hope we live long enough. It's my only concern. Uh, and seeing as we're also be... Oh, damn. That's annoying. Um, seeing as we're also just going to be astray, we haven't got to worry about, you know, like the Persian series where we just clapped and had all our titles wrote immediately. Um, but it gives us plenty of flexibility too. More flexibility in terms of warfare, which is quite nice. See it done. Oh, my elephant bunny. Hang on. We can get both. It's okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. A war elephant. Boom. And then... Debt time. There we go. Oh! Wow. Uh, my students are still in the stewardship skill gave us a little windfall. 80 gold there. Oh, fantastic. Clam Seaman can marry. We had a grandson called Clam. <laughs> oh, what a great name. Oh, what a bad education. Uh, you need all the help you can get. Oh, I can hell. Uh, what are we going to do with you? You're going to marry him off to a genius somewhere? Give the, give the next generation some hope? Um, how old is he? 16? 16 already? Wow. Um, so by age then. Um, 16, 16, 16. Look at 21. She's intelligent. I guess that's better than nothing. So our, our heir has had a kid. Oh my god, she's genius, pretty, and robust. Yes! Can we even play as her? Is it male only? Hang on. Uh, male preference? No, 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 no. Well, it doesn't really matter if it's male preference, because she's still his firstborn. I, I might need to make it fully equal so that she definitely inherits, because if they have another kid and it's a son, obviously we're potentially missing out on an incredibly good character. 40% chance... Of gaining one lifestyle perk. We got it. Wow, there we go. Fantastic. Right, so we go carefree, and then we go mental resilience. We've almost got healthy, and then, of course, whole of body means we should live for hopefully a good few more years. How close are we to the conversion, then? Get our own religion. Uh, we're there. Oh, because we lost Zealous. Oh, fantastic. 
Um, Dagon won't come up, but I don't really care. Look at that. We got our own branch of Buddhism, uniquely ours. Um, so esotericism. Uh, wise men do well at their studies. Wise men, mystic miracle worker. Okay, cool. Astrology. Uh, divine the stars and predict their future. Never done this before in CK3, so we'll see what that's about. And then ritual celebration is always quite good. Create a new branch as well. If we wanna, if we wanna add some stuff in. Oh man, it's expensive though, isn't it? God, I'd love to be able to just do a full religion at some point. It would cost us our fortune, but it'd be quite fun just to slowly build it up. Wow. Um, you look adaptive there. 5,400 already just to reform it, really. Can we put... We can put blank ones in, though, can't we? Go, like, blank. Take away ritual celebration. But I think that's free anyway, isn't it? Ritual celebration. Um, oh, it's 500. Mm. We'll reform it with absolutely no features and then slowly improve it over a long period of time. Pick our own little icon. Um, I like the elephant. I like I like this one. Wow, they're all quite cool, aren't they? Um, like evil peace. I don't know. I don't know why that one's uh the the yin yang symbol's gone a little gone a little haywire there. God, did he bring in more taxes then? He did. Wow, this guy's so good. We're already well on our way to more elephants. <laughs> I'm sure, this isn't gonna get ridiculous. That is not a twenty year old. That is a baby. Oh, he converted into a real man when I clicked him. Excellent. Um, oh, let's go for alliance again. Go on, stay, stay on top of the stay on top of the alliance power here. Um, right. So what have we got? Can't we have Arva? Can we have Dagon, our vassal? Um, I'll go with you. That's fine. There we go. Come on, don't you claim? Yes, that's it. All of the Pinya will be ours. Right, 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 my friend. Oh, it's a bad day to be you. There it is. Inferior. Yes, he is. Boom. Get him. We have to call in our allies here. Um, let's get you. I made an alliance with um, Lanka as well. Um, can't call him in. Why? Don't know why. Doesn't matter. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. Join me. Join me. Join me. There we go. Raise the troops. Get the elephants to battle. Oh, look at this man go. Get in there. Just go for the capital. And then our allies can turn up and, and help us out elsewhere then. We got another perk. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Yeah, this is good. Um, try again and see if anything is different. Come on, get the lifestyle perk. Wise man. Oh, wow. Hey, there we go. And that was, of course, plus 10 opinion with uh, our vassals who converted, our family members, everything else. Come on, land your troops, please. He's right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, spin around, spin around, spin around. There we go. That's what we like to see. Just keep an eye on our capital. Oh, wow. Hey, fantastic. Now, we've picked up a lot of non-coastal land. So we are going to have to chuck some away here. Um, what do you hold? Just that? G get out of here. Can I give him independence? Would it be to transfer vassals to our liege, perhaps? Um, yeah, see, we, we don't want this land. We personally are only allowed coasts. Um, but if I can give vassals away, because they're non-coastal, I've said I will. Because um, that's, you know, that's within the rules. Um, so we've got you, which I need to give away. You I need to give away. You I need to give away. That one's, that one's coastal. Um, so we've got two, we got three provinces here we've got to give away. Screeset, Mag Magway, and Tungu. <laughs> I'm fluent, uh, by the way. Um, transfer, transfer vassalage. Transfer vassalage. Brother, I, I, I don't want these titles anymore. Uh, transfer vassalage. Can you not give them away? Really? Retract vassal, grant independence. I have to be, in if, when we're independence, we can give them away. Um... So that'll be, that'll kind of be, have to how we do it, I guess. Um, but look at that, though. We've, we've already made waves in the, in the realm. We, we've already come out swinging today. I mean, massively doubled down on it there. Got a new religion. Got a bunch of new realm. Got a double duchy. Got to be careful now that we can not splinter our realm accidentally. That would be a real problem. Um, but we'll try avoiding uh, uh, fabricating too many duchy-specific claims. Otherwise, we will end up in situations like this where we've got coastal land non-coastal land. Go ahead and leave it there for today then. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I think it was, uh, I think we got a lot of momentum. We've, we've got a good start to our campaign. Our dynasty is doing incredibly well. We can stop, we, we can we can focus more on the actual, you know, coastal side of things and less on just building the dynasty when we're a little bit safer. Won't be long now. Thank you to our executive producers for keeping the channel going. A big thank you goes up to Darkus, Odie, Sonic Uberato, Emily, Moira, Mythomatic, Big Weeb, Layla, Scarlet Bard, Jan, Buen Gun, Juncture On, Asa the Cat, my name is Indio, and of course everybody at the executive producers over on Coffee. Thank you to those guys for making the channel possible, and a thank you as well to Valo, Consulus, 
Fiddle, Piddle, Diddle, Riddle, Davidovich, Emerald Beam, Dave, TLV, I, Duma, Uve, Way, Uve, 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 Zafio, Holland, Jonah, Bestmas Max, El Zilcho, Jesus, Nox, Immortalis, The Gentleman, Ghost, Ronald, Tom Patch, Moon Doggy, Marcel, and Extra Smooth as well. Big thanks to all of you guys for, for keeping the channel going, and see you tomorrow for more, for more semen adventures.